Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. This video today is brought to you by my husband who decided to go play paintball on a Saturday morning. If you guys watch my channel at all, you know that I do not film on weekends because my husband is home and he's just a very boisterous, excited person. <laughs> so you would hear him constantly in videos. So I just don't film except for like vlog clips and those are still pretty rare. But he has decided to go play paintball this morning. So I was like, perfect time to film because this would have had to wait till Monday to film and I really wanted to put this out Sunday and can't go back in time. So anyway, we have so many boxes. I have just accumulated them like not on purpose and again i always get these adult boxes and i open them and then i don't think i'm going to show them on camera and then i'm like whoops i unpackaged them did all this stuff I'm, i guess i'll show them so there's no like plastic wrap on these at least i know i don't think there's one on the alcrate one i don't know about the other one but i have already opened the adult ones i do open and check the other ones i feel like i always tell you guys this just to make sure nothing is broken but otherwise don't know what's in them i kind of order them excited to or i guess least excited because I feel like I'm never not excited for these to most excited but we have I think they're all September as well so I think we have a September adult fairy loot a September adult owl crate a September twisted retreat I'm actually back to being a rep for them for the next couple months I don't remember how long but I'll put my rep code back in the description box and then I think this is a Young Adult September Fairy Loot and an Illumicrate September, uh, I guess, I, I always want to say Young Adult, but it's just a box subscription because they do put adult books in there. So anyway, we're going to start with just the books. And I'm not doing uh, plot summaries for any of these <laughs> because there is too much stuff going on. We're not doing plot summaries. We're just going through what is in them. If you're interested in any of the books, you can look them up on Goodreads, etc. But yeah, I'm not, no, it's too hard to do plot summaries today. Unless I know what they're about, then I'll be like, okay, this is what it's about. But otherwise, we're going <laughs> to... I'm gonna say the words that you guys make fun of me all the time. We're gonna try to make this quick. <laughs> I know you guys make fun of me so much because it always ends up still being like a half an hour. No matter what I do, it's always a half an hour or longer. <laughs> so anyway, let's start with the very first one, which is the adult fairy loot. Okay, so this is one that I have already looked at and opened. I think I put it all, yeah, back together. All right, so our theme is September 2023, Beneath the Mask. So let's look at what is in the box. Here is the art print and the author letter on the back. And here is a little sneak peek of the edges pink. I feel like we don't get a lot of pink edges. And here is the book. Oh, that's so pretty. That's so pretty. I don't, is the original the black cover? I don't remember what the original is. But that's pretty. I love this green. Oh, with this pink, it looks so good. And we have, oh my gosh. See, this is the type of edges. If you've watched any of my other ones, I, I know I go on and on about not liking like when you take the ed, like the picture on the front and then put it immediately on the edge. This is what I want. This is so cool. It's different from what's on the front, but it matches it. Oh, absolutely perfectly. Oh, that looks so cool. And I love the darker side. The fact that it's like an, a, a dark forest green instead of this very light, I don't even know what color <laughs> you would consider this. All I know is I'm obsessed with it and this is going to look amazing on a shelf. Like that is, oh, that is so nice. I feel like sometimes books neglect this spine for like the covers, but mostly what we see is the spine. So I feel like they need to like take more time and do really cool spine designs like this. This is genius. It's so nice. Okay, so... Moving on to inside, we've got a lot going on. We can reverse this one. I'm not going to because I really like that cover, but this is also really pretty. So this is on the back and you have a nice labeled spine, which is always what I look for in reverse dust jackets. I like it and the full author's name is on there because sometimes I don't like when they reverse the dust jacket and the author's name is not listed because then what if you reverse it? You're not gonna know who the author is who wrote the book. Okay. Underneath the cover, we have some gorgeous artwork. Oh, that is so cool. Um, the vibes that I'm getting from this are um, The Road to El Dorado. Do you guys remember that movie? I love that movie. With, what is it, Miguel? Miguel and Tate? Ta no. Oh, I don't remember the other guy's name. Uh, I loved that movie. <laughs> that was one of those movies that I would just put on all the time. That is so pretty. 
And then the inside, we even have some gorgeous jungle artwork. I'm really excited about this. This seems different than a lot of books that I've read. And then like nighttime in the jungle. That is so neat. And then we have, uh, this is digital, digital signature. So this is really nice. This is really exciting. Okay, so that was everything that was in the adult box. So that is one box down. <laughs> Next, we have the adult owl crate. This is the one that I have open and did unwrap. Our theme is Follow the Breadcrumbs, September Adult Fantasy. And I like this one because it shows you what it looked like before and what their version looks like. Here is the book, After the Forest by Kel Woods. I really like this cover. I think this looks really, really cool. And for reference, they have the original cover which is interesting because this to me looks blue and this definitely is black i think i like the blue on here better it's very strange that this looks blue and the actual book looks black uh but that is the original cover they're generally the same style but i think i like the original better which is sad i hate when i like the original better but it's not like i like it better by a lot Okay, so we have some really interesting, like, burnt orange edges. They're not, like, they're very, they're, like, flaky. They're flaking off, so I wonder if it was a weird type of paint. Because it does have a weird, like, look to it. But it's still really nice. It's like a weird burnt orange. I think it's supposed to probably match the fox. Not the biggest fan of that. And then opening it up, we do have, we have a lot going on. Okay, so we do have a reverse dust jacket. On the reverse, oh, this is the artist that was doing the classics for Alcrate Frankenstein. Was it Pride and Prejudice? I don't remember which ones it was. It might've been Sense and Sensibility, but it's the same designer. I really like these designs. I think they're cool. It's a bit busy, but it's also really cool at the same time. There is no title or author name, so I wouldn't reverse it. Oh, I forgot to show this because this is a total redesign. So this is the side. And then this is the back. You cannot keep a witch from her nature. Sooner or later, it will bite back. Oh, witchy book. Okay, so this would be probably a really good November book. And then here is the green foiling on the hardcover. Leaf that's green, earth and air, protect me, forest fair. There's the sign. And then here's the back. Oh, it does say different stuff. Darkness, devil, death, and fear, get thee gone from here. Oh yeah, now this is like a forest theme like happy forest theme and this has night kind of themed on it a little bit i think it's just the moons <laughs> okay so that's that and then we do have some don't love the artwork on the inside it's just not my style it looks cool like i like everything but i don't love the design of the people everything else i like a lot but that's just not my my like for uh people designs and then here's the back it's cool though like it's still cool it's just not my favorite and then we have a signed page. So that is everything for the Owl Crate book. All right, next up we have the Twisted Retreat Box. This one is exciting. This one's just so different than anything else I do. I am a rep for this, but I am going to give my honest opinion about this. And I'm really annoyed because they always put a freaking sticker on the front and the front is like so cool. So that's just annoying. That's so, that's so annoying. But anyway, if you don't know anything about the Twisted Retreat Box, because I know this is a smaller box, this is a adult horror box and i think you get like a lot of stuff in here it is a bit more expensive but you get a lot of stuff everything is small business everything food wise is done by local shops etc so let's get into the horror box okay so right up front that looks like a blanket <laughs> that looks like a blanket i can smell something in here so i know i'm gonna have an issue with something in here this is the september 2023 box they always do these little newsletters. This is how they do their spoiler sheets. So we'll look at that at the end. Let's start with, I really want to start with what I think is the blanket, but I'm not going to. I'm going to save that for last. Okay, we're going to start with this little box. I think this is where the scent is coming from. Normally they do do a candle, which can be an issue for me. So this does look like a candle. Oh, this is Stranger Things. Okay, <laughs> I was like, wait a minute. 
So that is definitely a Demigorgon with an Eggo's Waffle, which I love. And I assume that's L on the front. I don't know. I don't know if I love the design on the front. Cool though. It looks more like a Marvel thing. Oh, okay. <laughs> so upset. I won't be able to burn this one. This one will give me uh, an allergic reaction, which is really sad because it actually smells really good. <laughs> I'm kind of sad that they didn't do something more like like waffles like make it just like a break like smell like syrupy breakfast instead it's I don't know what it smells like it has like a musky smell to it so I don't know ah I'm so sad about that it's it's normally about 50 50 shot with candles we have ooh a fruit bar apple cinnamon fruit bar non-gmo vegan gluten-free it has oh, okay good it has full ingredients on the back just in case you're allergic to anything and it is individually wrapped. Awesome. I actually would be able to eat this one because <laughs> I am very allergic to uh, aspartame, fake sugar. It gives me horrific migraines. So I always have to check anything, pretty much anything. Like it's in random stuff uh, for that, but it is not in this. So I actually will be able to try this and I'm really excited. <laughs> this looks really good and I'm really hungry right now. actually really really good it tastes a lot like it, it tastes really good I'm really surprised I feel like normally these things can taste very processed and there is a bit of a processy taste to it but it's not like gummy I was expecting it to be really really gummy and like tacky it's actually pretty good I feel like I actually ate fruit I feel like normally when you eat those types of bars you're like oh yeah this is like some processed weird stuff I actually feel like I ate fruit which See, I'm getting healthier today. <laughs> okay, next item, we have this little, I'm assuming they sometimes do perfume sticks. Could be a perfume stick or a, we got a oil diffuser in one of the last boxes. So it could be a essential oil. Frog Brothers Vampiric Veil Repel Blood Sucking Vampires in mosquitoes citronella essential oils this is so smart this is so smart because oh my gosh this is genius i wish we had this for the beach we were just at the beach and we were eaten alive by mosquitoes that is definitely that is definitely citronella <laughs> i don't know why i smelled it that strongly <laughs> oh man my eyes are watering i literally just huffed that <laughs> yeah my eyes are watering <laughs> so don't do what I just did it smells good it smells like citronella um this is really smart if you want to sit outside because it's it's getting into the cool season where you want to sit outside but there's still mosquitoes so you're still gonna need a citronella candle or something so this is actually really good and it'll probably diffuse better in the air than a candle does so I definitely might try this out if I go outside <laughs> That's the key. Key is if I go outside. Okay, next item we have. This is perfect for spooky season. I'm so excited about opening this like in October, even though it's September's box. Let me get rid of the wrapping because it's very loud. Okay, we have silky. It's very silky. What is this? Like a, a table runner? Looks like a table runner. It could be like a scarf. Could be a scarf. I love it. <laughs> It's very long. So it could be either a table runner or a scarf. You could probably use it either way. It's very silky. It wouldn't do much in the way of like protecting you from the cold, but it's definitely an aesthetic for October. I'm so excited about this. We have some of my favorites. We have Jason on there. Oh, I love this. The slasher, the camper. We have the dreamer, Freddy, the clown, it. Oh, go I love how Ghostface is just Ghostface. <laughs> Who else? Am I missing anybody? Am I missing anybody? I think that's everybody. Okay, that is so cool. I love that. Yeah, I don't know how I'm going to use that. Uh, that's really cool. I feel like I could use this as a scarf because you can just do that and then... I don't know how to put a scarf on, so don't make fun of me, okay? That seems fine. Look like I'm choking myself. But yeah, it's kind of just, yeah, I think it's a scarf. <laughs> if it's not, I'm going to laugh. 
looks better <laughs> that looks better and you can see them right on there i love that uh yeah i i think it's a scarf i'm gonna wear it as a scarf if it tells me it's not a scarf then i will take it off but otherwise i'm ready for october <laughs> Okay, next thing we have is a bunch of little paper items. Twisted Retreat, thank you so much for shopping with Twisted Retreat. Little thing. Oh yeah. Um, hi, Twisted Friends. In order to prevent another delay, we decided to include October's art item in this box in place of the oil blocks. Because they are wood, they were taken by US Customs for examination. They'll be included in another box sometime. We hope you love the stickers instead. A spooky ghost and one inspired by House of Leaves. We apologize for the delays we've experienced this year and promise we are working hard to prevent them in the future. Thank you so much. Oh yeah, I do know a little bit about that. They have been unplugged and Twisted Retreat are notoriously on time. It is one thing that I absolutely loved about this box. It's very similar to Alacrate. They just are on time. But I think they like changed shipping or they changed warehouses and it, that caused some issues to slow down. So I think they're switching back to a different warehouse. I think that's, that's what they were talking about. But anyway, the stickers are... Love that. That's very October. And then we have, ah, oh yeah, the House of Leaves design. We all create stories to protect ourselves. House of Leaves. That's cool. So I like that. Little cute stickers. And then we always have a tarot card. And this one is Psycho. They'll see. They'll see and they'll know. So you have the shower kind of shower scene from Psycho in there. So these are little tarot cards. Okay, so moving into the next item, we have, I think this is a notebook. Suburban 13 Monsters. Wait, is this a, is this a second book? Did we get two books in the September box? This is this and there's, is this a second? We got two books. We got two books. Okay, so this is called Suburban Monsters. It has a giant 13 on the front. It's like a faux leather kind of feel to it. It's really cool. And then this is on the back, 13 stories. I've never heard of this. And then we have like kind of a person there. And it says Suburban Monsters. Okay. And then on the inside we have that. I am so confused what this is. And it's even signed. I don't know if it's a sign or a digital, but signature page. 13 tales of horrors lurking right next door. I got a short story collection, which is really cool and very Halloween. Very, very Halloween. And you get to show the blanket looking thing because of that. Okay. This is my favorite item that I've ever gotten in any box. Okay. This. <laughs> okay. Okay. Okay, <laughs> if you're a horror fan, you will understand how amazing this item is. And it's not just a blanket, it's also one of my favorite things. I've already gotten one of these from Unplugged before, but it's a um, like shawl thing, so it has snaps on it. So you basically put it on, I'm gonna get really hot with all this stuff. <laughs> so basically you put it on like this, and you have uh, snaps. So it stays on like that and you can walk around. And I use my other one all the time. So I'm really excited that this is the same thing. And I'm about to freak out because I love the Friday the 13th first movie. I'm not a big fan of the rest of the franchise. Scream, Scream and Halloween are my franchises. I still love Friday the 13th. I love Christ Camp Crystal Lake. I love the first movie. So I'm very excited to tell you that this is a gorgeous... Friday the 13th mural on here. So this is this, I'm gonna have to show this in another clip. It says, did you know a young boy drowned the year before those others were killed? <sighs> I'm so excited. Let's see if I can get back a little farther. There we go. So that's one side and it goes into this like gorgeous mural of Camp Crystal Lake, and then it says Camp Crystal Lake. I'm, a, I'm literally obsessed with the big knife. Enjoy your summer, Camp Crystal Lake. I am, I'm actually obsessed. <laughs> I, I am actually obsessed with this. It looks so good. I like that they went for like, there's like some horror aspects on it, but it's also like just a serene, like Camp Crystal Lake. 
yes <laughs> this I, I'm not even kidding this is my favorite item I've ever got in a box because it is so on brand for me and what I love I'm so, <laughs> I'm so excited Okay, so all we have left in the box is the main book. We have another one very similarly designed to the last one, and I love this. It feels like I'm about to read a very scary classic, and this is what it looks like. The Camp. This looks really cool. I actually really like this, and again, it's like that, it's like this weird, it's less faux leather than the other one, but it's definitely got that feel to it, and I think it's it's got that look to it, like it's trying to look like the, like it's like leather bound. I really like this. I feel like some people are gonna have a problem because it's not like, it's very simplistic. There's not gold foiling everywhere, but I kind of like it. Cause again, it looks like those classics. And then Camp Fog Lake. Oh, I love this. Okay, so I love that this is gonna be in a camp and we got a camp item. I love that. And then we have some really cool digital edges, camp edges. That's cool. And then the bottom, and we also have as usual, a little marker in here, ribbon bookmark. And then on the inside, oh, this is interesting. Just a picture of, uh, of the woods. And then on the back, it's the same thing. That's really neat. This looks really cool. And we do have, looks like a digital signature. I think that's a digital signature. So this is really neat. I'm pretty excited about this. This seems like something that would be really good for Halloween, but we'll see. I'm excited about this, this is a good one. Okay, that was everything in the Twisted Retreat box. Let's talk about the spoilers. Slasher Tarot Scarf. It was a scarf. This is a Twisted exclusive. I did the 13th Poncho, designed by Stellar Dream. Lost Boys Anti-Mosquito Oil. Apple Fruit Bar, designed by Betty Luz Incorporated. Pet Cemetery Oil Block. That is what we did not get. We will be getting that in the next box instead of the stickers. Psycho Tarot Card and the Stranger Things Candle Designed by Typical Ghost. The Tarot Card was also by Typical Ghost. I think it was pretty good. I think it was a pretty good box. Oh, here's the original. So they're also doing that. There's the original. There's this cover. I think they're both really good. It kind of just depends what aesthetic you like better. I kind of like this because of the creepy horror classic feel. It feels like I'm reading Frankenstein. I feel like there's a cover that looks just like that has Frankenstein. Oh, and then that's, okay, I like that way better <laughs> than that. That grosses me out. I like that way better. So I think this was a pretty good box. <laughs> the only thing that I can't use is the Stranger Things candle. Everything else I'm going to use. I actually really like the scarf. And obviously I'm literally obsessed with the blanket poncho thing. I am so excited about that. I'm probably going to be walking around all of October around the house wearing that. <laughs> So for me, this is a really good box. Okay, moving right along to the young adult fairy loot box. We have a little sneak peek. Here is the card. This is September 2023, 20, Invisible Truths. I love the artwork they put on their cards. Do we have another blanket? We have another blanket in here. Let's go over something small first. We have Red Rising foiled bookmarks. I have not read Red Rising. So that is definitely on my list of things to read. Whoa, <laughs> those are bright. Holy crap. Okay, I don't know any of the characters, so you guys will have to have to figure it out on your own. <laughs> but I'll show them each to you. These look so cool. I'm guessing because they have a faction system, don't they? So I'm guessing each one of these is for, for factions. I, I assume, I don't know if that's accurate. Oh my gosh, these look so cool. I feel like they're trading cards. They look like trading cards. Next item, we have little travel containers. I don't think anyone's done this before. And a little bag. I am kind of obsessed. It's fourth wing. It's also fourth wing. We have inch infantry. Let me pull them out. This is gonna be a hard word for me. Infantry quadrant. Oh, that's hard to see. That's hard to see. Let's use the owl crate from last month. Okay. And that did not help whatsoever, did it? I need white. I need a white background. The City of Dusk. Ah, there we go. We're using City of Dusk. So, Infantry Quadrant, Rider's Quadrant, Healer's Quadrant, The Scribe Quadrant. That's really cool. I, I feel like 
people might be a little upset with that item being the fourth wing item but this is very usable and my husband and I do often on travel so I, again kind of wish I had had this for the beach okay next up we have one more chapter reading light designed by Blanca Designs oh my gosh this is so cute oh my gosh I don't want to I hate that when they make the like box really cute it makes me not want to get rid of the box okay yep I've had one of these before okay so <laughs> the key with these the key with these things if you have not used one of these and we have a cute little one more chapter design okay yeah and you're gonna need some batteries so the key with these if you have not used one of these before is to be incredibly careful where you store it okay that was really loud to put on be so so careful where you store this because this plastic it's like this plexiglass plastic it it gets gnarly very quickly i'm actually gonna leave it in the plastic wrap for now it scratches so 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 easily so if you put anything on it, if you even like rub your nail on it, you might get a scratch. So if you want to keep it as pristine as possible, make sure when you're putting it away, it's somewhere where nothing else is going to touch it. So I love these, but they are so prone to damage. It's not even funny. All right, we have a Raven pin designed by Noah Designs. I'm assuming if it's a Raven pin, it's either Enchantment of Ravens or the Raven Cycle. That's definitely Raven Cycle. Excelsior, Excelsior. Yeah, that's definitely a Raven Cycle, I believe. I love how the only two books that are allowed to have Ravens, I guess it's The, the Ravens is also a book. And that also is in a, like a prep school. So it could be The Ravens or The Raven Cycle. And then our last item I was saving for last is the blanket as Travers. I feel like we all know, even though I haven't even read it, this is A Dark Shade of Magic which is a big deal right now because they just, uh, the e. Schwab just released, was it Fragile Threads of Power? Which I almost bought and then was like, oh, this is like, has to do with A Darker Shade of Magic. And I was like, of course it does. <laughs> so I still need to read that first. So we have this was on the blanket and here is the actual blanket. I really don't want to film anything separate. So here is, oh yeah, I can do this, this works. So here's the top. And as you know, like, maps are such a big deal in this world. I like how I'm talking about it as if I know what I'm talking about. And then we have As Travers, more maps. I feel like it's supposed to be, oh yeah, because it's different cities, right? Or it's different, it's different timelines, because it's like gray, white, black, and red, right? Something like that. That sounds right. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. See, there's red. See, we have red. Looks like there's two white though. I think that's supposed to be gray. So I think that's, okay. So we have, that's what it is. Red's on the bottom. This is black. This is white. And then the top is gray. That's pretty cool. Am I going to read the books anytime soon? I don't know. Do I own all the books? Yes, I do. <laughs> I would be a chump if I didn't own all the books by now. Okay. Okay. So those are all the items. Let's move on to the book. I definitely forgot the tarot cards, which is obviously our favorite game to play because I never know what any of them are. <laughs> we have the Ace of Moons, which is giving me Addie LaRue vibes a little bit. And then we have the Two of Moons, which isn't giving me any vibes. <laughs> okay, yeah, no idea. No, no, no idea because I assume they're from the same universe. Oh, it could be Addie LaRue. That could be Addie, and that could be um, Luck. Could be. Figure that out when I go over the spoilers. Okay, so the book this month, sneak peek, we have some black edges. Interesting. Yeah, I forgot we have a bunch of extras. I always forgot there's stuff in here. So we have the bookmark, which I always like getting. We have the fairy scoop, which we'll look at after this. And then we have Autumn Fall High School Boys Swim Team. Here's the artwork. That's so pretty. I love like the anime style on it. It looks really cool. And then here's the author letter. What 
is this book? Okay, let's see this way. If I have to be haunted, I have to be haunted. Ooh, and I love that it's like disappearing down here. That looks so cool. This is gorgeous. Okay, I've never, I haven't heard of this book, I don't think. I'm trying to remember if I did this in my like upcoming releases videos, but I don't recognize this one. I feel like I must have brought it up if it's young adult. Your first love will always haunt you. Oh no, is this gonna be sad? Mm, this sounds sad. This also sounds contemporary. I'll haunt you for the rest of your life. You wouldn't dare. Try me. I kind of like that, though. Oh, I feel like this is going to be sad. I may have to read what this one's about. I know it's breaking my rule, but... Ugh. I love it. <laughs> I love it. It's so pretty. Oh my gosh, I might have to display it just like, I don't know, there's, ah, so, oh, it's one of those months where everything looks pretty. If I have to be haunted, this, I'm so, mm, I don't know what to do with myself right now. <laughs> oh no, and then this is also, this is, I gotta put it the right way. Uh, this is also pretty. What is happening? I'm so confused. Yeah, so you can totally reverse that too. I don't know what to do. <laughs> I'm stressed. Oh man. I need you guys to tell me in the comments below which version you like better. If you like regular dust jacket, behind the dust jacket, or naked, naked hardcover. Which one do you guys like the best? Because I don't know. I don't know which one I like the best. And then I didn't even show you the sprayed edges. That is so smart. I like that. That tricked me as well. And then just plain black on the bottom. So good. It's so good. I hope I like this book. I'd be very upset if I don't like it. And then we've got this and it's got silver foiling in it. What am I doing with my life? The back is the same. I am obsessed with this. And then we have the author letter found into the book as well. I love that. That is so smart. And then we have, I think it's digitally signed. Yeah, looks digitally signed. I, I gotta check what this one's about. Kara's just trying to stay on top of all her classes, excel at her extracurriculars, and prepare for college, which means not speaking to the dead, an ability she inherited from her grandmother. Ghosts are trouble and Kara doesn't need to add their problems to her own. But then she stumbles upon the body of Zach, the super popular but very newly dead high school golden boy, in the woods, and guess what? He wants her to resurrect him. Cue trouble. Miranda's son's debut touches on the power of in conflicts of mother-daughter love, first romance, and finding your place in the world while honoring your culture, full of heart, humor, and thrills. I'm stressed because it says first love, which to me implies that it's not gonna last. <laughs> oh no, <laughs> oh no. Okay, let's... Guys, I am so flippin' stressed out right now. Let's look at all the things that we were given. <laughs> Uh, okay fairy scoop this is oh man there's a sequel oh come on she's also currently working on a young adult reverse hades and persephone vibes fantasy that sounds good to me i like that and then the spoilers so we have the blanket that was designed by forensic and flowers that is darker shade of magic by v.e schwab enamel pin the Raven Cycle. Why have we been getting so many Raven Cycle items? By Maggie Steve Otter. Reading Light, designed by Blanca Designs. Foiled Bookmarks, designed by Lizart Zardonix. They feature Darrow, Mustang, Severo, and Victra. Travel Bottles, designed by Noah Designs. And Tarot Cards. Tarot Card features Addy as the Ace of Moons and Luck as the Two of Moons. Guys, I actually got that right. I never get them right. Okay, uh, and they're all, all, and they're illustrated by Ars Twenty Eight. I can't believe I actually got that right. 
Okay, so that's everything in that box. Um, I liked it. I, <laughs> again, it's really not that hard to please me that much. I feel like if I don't like something, I really don't like it. But generally, if the book is cool, I kind of forget if I don't like any of the items. But I think I like, no, I actually really like this box. I really like pins. I'm a pin collector, if you didn't know. I, I collect all sorts of pins. I buy pins separately. The travel things I'm going to use. I love the blanket. I always use all the blankets. And then even though I haven't read Red Rising, the bookmarks are gorgeous. And I love that I haven't read it yet. Because now when I read Red Rising, because do I have the first three books? Yes, I have the first three books. I have a problem, okay? I have the first three books. So I can use the bookmarks while reading the first three books. So that actually makes me very excited for also having the bookmarks. Okay, so that's everything in there. We are moving on to... The Illumicrate. All right, we have the Illumicrate. Can we go three for three and get another blanket? I feel like that's very wishful thinking, but it feels heavy. It feels heavy. No, I don't like it. Boo, I was very excited about that. There is some sort of fabric item, but no blanket. Okay, so, oh, we all know what's in this box. We all know what's in this box. My last breath, September 2023. This is spoiler cards. We will look at this at the end. And our first item are enamel. Oh, is an enamel magnet inspired by Belladonna. This is not what I was expecting. I don't know what I was expecting, but this was definitely not it. I haven't read Belladonna, so I don't know. This is heavy. In the window, kissed by death. Yeah, it's just a magnet. Okay, it's fine. I don't love the artwork. And when I think of Belladonna, I think of like the two different covers for Belladonna and this doesn't really scream it. But let's do, oh, I know what this is. Okay, this I'm excited about because I love bull koozies and I believe this is a bull, this is very stiff. It's very stiff bull koozie. <laughs> very stiff. But yeah, this is definitely a bull koozie, I think. Uh, very interesting design. I don't, can they say they were doing a Mexican Gothic one? This might be Mexican Gothic because the mushrooms, this is definitely Mexican Gothic. Okay, because we have like the gorgeous landscape in the story, but then it turns to horror with the, the mushrooms taking over. So I think this is Mexican Gothic. Oh, is this a book pot? Okay, I will accept that there's no blanket because if this is a really cool book pot, I'm gonna be very excited. Here is the book pot. <gasps> It's maybe my favorite one. Oh, it's so pretty. Mm, gothic romance. Oh my gosh. Okay, this is easily my favorite one. This is a close second. I don't remember where I put all of them. I have a bunch of them. The art history one that I have up there, the, the yellow one I really like. And then there's the red great libraries one that I also really like. But this one is... This one's definitely my favorite. <laughs> this one's definitely my favorite. A Tale of Gothic Romance. And then we have Gothic Romance, Atmospheric Mysterious Hauntings. It's so pretty. Love stories that will haunt your dreams. I'm so excited. Okay, that makes up for No Blanket. If we were villains, ML Rio, this is a puzzle. I always like getting puzzles. Piece your own story if we were villains. And then it opens like a little book. So if you don't want to do the puzzle, you can always take it out and have like a little book thing. Actually, I feel like that's the point of it. <laughs> puzzle story, if we were villains. Yeah, and then just a little little puzzle. So I like these, these are easy to do in like one little sitting. All right, we are down to the book. And as you know, we, I mean, we all know what it is at this point. So. A Study in Drowning by Ava Reed. We all knew what it was. I actually really, really like this cover. It feel, again, I said it for the Alcrate one, but it feels very Wuthering Heights. Something about it is just like, it feels very classic. I really like this one. I don't know if I like this or the Alcrate front cover better. I would not be able to tell you 100%. I kind of think I like this one. I think I like the gray. And then the side is A Study in Drowning. And then the back is gorgeous. They're just so different. They're so different, it's hard to tell uh, which one you like better. So, and then we have some really cool digital edges. I love them. They look really, really good. And then, okay. No reverse, but we have, we have this. This is how I'm displaying it. 
this is how am I I don't know but this is this is this is stunning this is stunning <laughs> I love this this looks so cool and we have this I love that very simple look to it this screams dark academia oh my gosh and then we have some gorgeous artwork on the inside I really like this art style and it matches dark academia vibes so well and then it's the same on the back so that's oh that's so nice and then we have a signed page it actually looks actually signed okay let's look at the spoiler sheet i feel like everything is pretty obvious gothic romance book pot designed by chatty nora kissed by death window magnet designed by marta v botanical bloom bowl koozie holly dunn and this was inspired by mexican gothic Per Aspera and Astra Puzzle, designed by Magdalena Pagowska and Chatty Nora, uh, inspired by If We Were Villains. So very happy about that. Again, another really good box. I feel like I pretty much liked everything in, in every box. I feel like this was a huge success. <laughs> I feel like there's normally at least one box that I'm just like over, but I'm pretty happy with everything. Anyway, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any future unboxings. Obviously, I have plenty more coming in October, and I'll be having a lot more vlogs coming out this month. I've been slacking on the vlogs, but I've been I've been picking it up a little bit. So we should have more vlogs this month in October and hopefully into November. And yeah, that's pretty much all I got for you guys. So make sure you subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. Make sure you comment down below if you liked any of the boxes, if you're excited about any of the books, etc. And make sure you like the video if you enjoyed the content. And I will see you guys in the next video. Mm -hmm.